Welcome back everyone, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn how to create a countdown clock in JS using HTML and CSS. If you missed my first video describes how to create a digital clock in JS, please go back and watch that video and come back here. Let's begin with creating a new document in my Sublime Text Editor. I am going to name it as Christmas Countdown. I'm saving inside my JS tutorials directory. This is the HTML for doc type and the HTML tag. These are all basics and my head tag. Finally, body tag. So Type Taylor's Christmas Countdown. Before diving into the JavaScript code, let's design the HTML layout and apply CSS styles on it. These things can be completed in minutes. Let's create a table. Draws. four columns Christmas countdown in second row ID days hours minutes seconds let's add some labels days hours minutes seconds Okay, add some. I'm going to add some dummy data. Twelve minutes and twenty-two. Let's open this page in the browser. Yeah, this is my file. Okay, let's add some CSS styles on it. I want to set my body background color to light gray. And I want to place the countdown timer to the center of the page. Uh, countdown container position absolute top 50 percentage lift 50 percentage and transform translate x is minus 50 percentage translate y is also minus 50 percent so this will place your container at the center of the page and i want the text should be aligned to the center of the page so text align sorry text align center i want to have a background for this container light gray and border one pixel solid okay not the same color triple line and padding of 10 pixel 
and okay we can add box shadow also this is horizontal shadow vertical shadow and uh, this is blur 5 pixel and this is spread my color is um, some grayish and finally and finally info class to set the font size guys don't forget to add these classes in the html elements if you miss it you won't see any changes in the html document let's add my class here countdown container and this will be my info class so this also instead of here you can add it to the parent if you want let's check in the browser yeah looks good now let's dive into our long awaited JS part open a script after the table element and create a function called countdown now we need to create a date object the date object is used to work with dates and times there are four ways of insta instantiating a date this is the first way and the second way is new date of milliseconds I'm sorry for the typos and new date of date string and new date of year month seconds I'm sorry uh, date or month second and millisecond we are going to use the first and fourth type of creation this is okay and this will be my event date so I don't need these informations year 2016 this is the tricky part here you should specify the index of the month not the month December is the 12th month but we need to specify it as 11 so be clear with this and finally the date 25 so I'm creating a Christmas countdown now we need to find the difference between the current date and the event date let's convert the dates into milliseconds for easy calculation using get time method so current time equal to now dot get time event date dot get time now sometime equal to sorry this is not even date this event time event time minus current time this variable contains the remaining time in milliseconds let's convert this into uh, the, uh, let's convert this milliseconds into seconds minutes hours and days let's do it where is equal to remaining time by thousand math dot math.floor method rounds a number downward to its nearest integer so I will not get any decimal values in the calculations also and uh, calculations of minutes is a very simple thing math.floor minutes can be calculated by dividing s by 60 then hours can be calculated 
simply dividing the m by 60 and this can be calculated by sim by simply dividing the hours by 24 now we are done with the calculations so everything is converted to okay, everything is converted to seconds minutes hours and days it's time to find the remaining hours minutes and seconds so let's do it h modulo equal to 24 m modulo equal to 60 seconds modulo equal to 60 this will give you the remaining hours minutes and seconds now i'm going to append zero with these values for example if r is less than 10 i am adding zero to this i am appending zero to this so if you don't want to write these three lines of code then simply use conditional operator like this h equal to h less than 10 question mark 0 plus h colon h this h less than 10 is your condition and these things after question mark is your true part after this colon will be your false part let's copy this and paste it here M. M. Finally, M. And this should be S. Yes. This should be S. Yes. Again, S. Yes. And S. Yes. Yeah. Let's set these values to the HTML elements which we created just now. Document. Dot. Get element id id is days here okay days document dot get element id gets the element with the specified id okay id is days here and dot text content equals to d please note that this text content property is not supported in internet explorer 8 and the earlier versions so copy this and paste it here use inner text instead of text content to support the earlier versions of ie and ie8 okay it's time to complete the remaining things quickly i'm just copying this and pasting it here This should be also hours. This will be our minutes. This will be our seconds. And change this to H, M, and yes. Yeah, we are done with this. Now call this function at the end of the script like this. Now refresh the page in the browser. Yeah, we are done with the countdown clock, but this countdown is not running and it is inactive. To make it active, we need to add one more line of code in the JS. Set timeout method name and the interval. The set timeout method calls a function after a given interval of time now we gave thousand which means one second so it will call the function after one second this function will be executed only once in our case the set time mode method is placed inside the countdown method and it will call the same method after one second when the method is called it will show the new remaining time, uh, time in the html elements and it again encounters the set time mode method so it will call the function again it will wait for the one second and it will call the function again so this loop never ends okay so let's save this document let's check it out 
yeah perfect this is how you can create the countdown clock for any of your events using the fundamentals of the javascript thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it find the source files in the below description thank you bye bye please don't forget to subscribe thank you